Identity 5 has finally announced some news regarding an opera singer change and a game breaking change related to underused features in the game. Let's begin. Welcome back to another news video guys, let's get into some of the small changes that NetEase has announced for the game. As mentioned in a previous Q&A, people wanted Priestess's face to be adjusted. To solve this issue, they are reworking her face to have no more eyebrow issues. Players are rejoicing as the quick message thank you is making a return. IDV developers initially removed its usage due to it being considered toxic in the community. The new implementation of the message can now be used if a survivor has been terror shocked within the first 20 seconds of a match. In other news, the developers have made a statement regarding players' anger towards the low daily rewards that are given in the game. The developers have mentioned a massive increase in daily rewards. Wait, one second. I'm getting news just right now. News just in, the changes will include a one clue increase to daily rewards. Hmm. Competitive ranked players have long been frustrated by the fact that Opera Singer has needed to be banned every single match. NetEase developers have noticed this high ban rate of the Hunter and have decided to fix the issue. To do this, they've made it so that Opera Singer cannot be banned in rank mode. Think about it this way, now you won't need to ban her each match. Players that own any of the three SS tier skins that are in the game right now are currently non-phased by the upcoming changes to the skins. A new subscription fee is being added where if you own an SS tier skin, you need to pay $5 a month to continue to own that skin. Might as well keep milking the players with deep pockets as we always do, said one developer reportedly. On the topic of skins, Identity 5 is soon to expect an A or S tier skin for the Hunter Undead. More news, the developer team over at NetEase headquarters have also announced a massive change coming to the game's marketing strategy. This change comes after the dev team read people's comments on Identity 5 related YouTube videos. The new change consists of a renaming of the game from Identity 5 to the much requested DVD copycat for kids. A little bit of a mouthful in my opinion, but I'm sure we'll get used to it soon. A final change announced is one that could turn the ties of your competitive matches completely. After the developers noticed how little the dishes function has been used up until now, they decided to make it so that any survivor that doesn't eat their food before a match will immediately be sent back to the manor and will be granted for two weeks. Just so we're clear, these changes are all a joke. Happy April Fools everyone and make sure to be extra skeptical about anything you see on the internet today. Stay tuned for real news tomorrow.